Hey everybody, what's going on? And welcome back to the Seasonal Hardcore Invitational Tournament, the SHI Tournament. I am joined tonight, I am Angry Larry, I am joined tonight with Buzz Thunder. Buzz, how are you? Uh, I'm doing quite well this evening. Uh, it's great to be here. Uh, I'm ready for, I got my roller skates on, I am pumped. I am I am pumped too, and uh, mostly for the second match because uh, I want I have a vested interest in seeing one of those guys lose and lose badly. But uh, uh, why do you take us yeah, through the matches? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I, I should have that information right here. Well, uh, tonight initially, our first match is going to be between uh, Coach Crab One Two Seven and Choke Me. I like it. Now uh, these two runners are. Uh, Ah, uh, jeez, I don't have anything prepared. They're, they're, they're inept a bit of... at using computers, so we're having a little <laughs> bit of technical difficulties here. That's very true, yes. Coach Crab took about uh, three hours to actually set up an account for Discord, and Choke Me I Like It, I believe, still has not fully assembled his desk and cannot get Parap the Rapper to work um, in his emulator for about six months now, I believe. I believe, uh, yeah, and I totally believe him that it's 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 totally problem with the emulator and not the fact that he doesn't want to play it. Yeah, I, I, I'm kind of leaning his way because um, I was trying to get Castlevania to work on PlayStation uh, emulator today, and I could not get it to work. We are just setting up the stream here. We're having a little bit of difficulty. It sounds like it's windy over there where you are. Oh, and, and mine? Yeah, I can hear you breathing right into the microphone. Okay, I apologize. Let me move my mic away a little bit. Tell me if that's any better. I must have had it like right next to my mouth. I apologize. I don't have a fancy, you know, fancy two hundred dollar mic stand like some people. I don't know what you're talking about. My voice naturally <laughs> sounds like this, and the microphone is naturally positioned uh, at a suitable distance. Uh, yeah. Why don't you get to take us through uh, what it takes in in a, in ro what is roller games about? How is it played? What are the stages like? Well, roller games. It's a, it's quite a game, actually. You know, it grows on you. At first, you kind of think, like, oh, what am I doing here? But uh, it's it's a nice little platformer that was made by Konami. And uh, they used characters from the television series Roller Games that was popular in the late 80s, uh, which was basically a combination of wrestling-type stuff, WWE and Roller Derby, combined into one. And uh, they put that into a video game here. So it's a nice little platform. It's got a little fighting, a little beat em up uh, But mainly it's a platformer. It's about avoiding pits and avoiding water. That's the, that's the biggest thing about, about roller games on the NES. So our runners uh, are going to go through six different stages. And uh, we're doing any percent rules. So we start off. Um, and whoever finishes first uh, is going to be the winner, and that's how this tournament works. And this is one of the uh, the group play, the the first one before we get into our uh, tournament tournament elimination bracket. Yeah, there'll be there's four people to a group. If everyone plays everyone one time, so everyone will have three games under their belt. And then what we're going to do then is we're going to split the field into two. There's going to be a winner is winners and a losers bracket. Uh, the top two in one division uh, will move on to the winner's bracket. The bottom two will go on to the loser's bracket. Then it's single elimination until we get to a grand championship game and an ultimate loser's game. And the grand champion will obviously be the grand champion of the seasonal hardcore invitational tournament, the inaugural seasonal hardcore invitational tournament. And the ultimate loser, the loser of the ultimate loser match, uh, what's in store for them, Buzz? Well, uh, they are going to have to play a game of my choosing because uh, I have uh, already pro proclaimed that I'm going to be the winner of the tournament. No, I'm just kidding. The winner of the uh, winner's bracket will be able to choose a game that uh, the loser, the ultimate loser, will have to play on stream for at least one hour. So it's a bit of a humiliation uh, punishment, you know, making fun of that person. They have to play the game that you want. So it's, uh, it's, it's quite a rewarding prize, actually. And a disappointing uh, for the loser, depending, because I don't know if anybody was there when Coach Crab had to play Echo the Dolphin, but like for me, that was quite satisfying. Oh, that was that was definitely satisfying, and I think he took a little bit of pleasure in hating it as well. But uh, <laughs> certainly going to be—it was probably one of his highest-rated streams ever. 
Uh, I, I, yeah, I might have to agree that. Yeah, the the worse the game Coach Crab plays, the the more people like it. Honestly. That goes the same way with Parappa the Rapper. He had to play that one as well. Yeah, but he, you know, Terrible Tuesday, he put it on his Terrible Tuesday stream and then acts like he doesn't like the game, but then quotes it every two seconds. And uh, what are we expecting yeah, from know. this uh, from this matchup here? If all goes according to plan, Coach Crab should uh, should beat Choke by like a minute or maybe even two minutes because Cho- uh, Coach has been having some good, decent runs. Choke... A little bit inconsistent in his runs, but he has a good PB at 17 minutes and 53 seconds. Yeah, Choke is, uh, as far as I know, he's limited to streaming like 30 minutes per two days, I think. So I haven't seen a lot of his, but I know that Coach Crab, uh, Coach Crab can bring it. He's been playing this game. He's been getting good. And I'm just looking at the splits right now on Choke, and uh, if his PB is at 17.53, you know, yeah, that that seems like a pretty good prediction, what you just said there. Coach Crab knows what he's doing, and Choke is decent, but uh, doesn't nearly have the consistency that uh, Mr. Krabs does here. And then again, this is the first game of a two-game uh, two game block here. Choke me, I like it. Well, then play dig shake in group play it, it Ooh. doesn't and uh, Ooh. Wonder, Ooh. Wonder, sorry we'll talk more about that game when it when it comes closer <laughs> to it but uh go choke me i like it uh, that's choke- right i I don't, I don't know people started booing when you said dig shake i don't know what that was that was I, weird it's a natural honest reaction i mean people sick of broken bridges and grass tiles not where they're supposed to be and uh boulders blocking death mountain <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's hard to argue with that honestly well, I mean, you know, just look at how the guy wears a hat, and then you just instantly just dislike him altogether. Yeah, it's a it's a nice hat. It's a nice hat. <laughs> All right, so I am in the middle of uh, of setting things up here. I we are set up. We are just going to wait until eleven p.m. just to conform the schedule because we have been promoting this at eleven p.m. So even though both runner, runners are ready and chopping at the bit, choke is on the wrong screen. Yeah, that's something that we need to get straightened out uh, because uh, it seems like uh, that that happened last in our last double doubleheader. Well, the 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 one um, the one thing about that is, if anybody ever gets a really good run and they want to submit it, uh, we they runs don't start on that screen. Runs start on the other screen, so you'll never be able to submit a good run. Yep, that would be a disqualification. I'm going to give the runners ready. If they both say yes, uh, then you take it take it away and count us down, and we'll get under action here, and we'll uh, have some All right. fun rocking with Roller Games. Uh, very good. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Roller Games. Are you ready? I think three people said yes. Yeah, good. That's what they did in the show. So now Buzz is going to count them down in in chat, and then we're going to get underway. As soon as we see them move, we'll start the timer. Both runners are going to be starting at the selection screen, at the main menu. They'll have to press start, select their runner. Now Choke just unreadied. Looks like he's got a problem with his desk. One of the legs may have fallen off or needs to be sanded properly. Yeah, that's the problem when the wife makes you uh, buy a desk that conforms to the decor of the room. You don't oh, always yeah, get that's, quality. That's the worst. Yeah. Like buy the desk first and then build the room around the desk. Right. What or I just, say. you know, just be a man and go get a desk. Yeah. I think this is a stall tactic on Choke's part, though. Like he's trying to get in the head of a uh, coach right now. Yeah, it's kind of like the. Uh... The freeze in uh, in the NFL where somebody's trying to kick a field goal and they kind of give them the timeout. That's a good comparison Whoa. right there. It looks like Choke is ready. All right, you want me to do the countdown? Yeah, do the countdown. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. No, you got to type in, it in chat. No, I'm going to do it both. Oh, okay. In three, two, one... Go and we'll, we'll and st- we're off. Well, we're not really off because we gotta wait for the delay. If you're watching on uh, 
on stream. There we That's go. That's true. Choke has started, and Choke has accidentally selected the T-Birds, I believe. Oh, So ouch. he has to reset early. Wow. Yeah, That's that a... happens. I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't scroll down. Coach does get the proper selection. Uh, when you reset yeah. in this game, you have to wait for this Konami uh, bullcrap to cycle through. And then... Yeah, I, I I never really considered that. I wonder if that really is going to make up the time difference as far as the speed of uh, of Hot Flash versus T-Birds right there at the beginning. But uh, second time around, he does select the correct one, and uh, both of our runners are often, often skating. So the first stage is basically your basic platformer. You got to make a couple jumps. You got to avoid a couple obstacles. You got to beat up a few few enemies. That's about it. You get to this first area here. This is the midway point of 1-1. You get six enemies. They come out of the elevator one at a time. Double Dragon style, I guess people like to compare it to. Uh, two knockdowns def uh, defeats the enemy. It doesn't matter how you do it. Jump kick, punches and kicks, or knee strikes and a throw uh, buzz. What is the trick here to getting a fast uh, start in 1-1? Um, honestly, it's about luck. It's about landing jump kicks. Um, the door opens. It, it opens on a timer. So once it, it releases a first enemy, if you kill him fast enough, it won't release the next guy. You know, so if you can kill him in time, you're really not going to lose anything. So it doesn't matter how you kill him as long as you get them dispensed before the next guy pops out of there. That's that's where it starts slowing you down. If you have two guys on the screen, then the door won't keep opening for you. You get three supers per checkpoint, and the stage to here, the end of 1-1 one, one where Choke is right now. Uh, this is where you want to use the supers. You want to get the enemies close together. One super takes down both, and you can get to this area pretty quickly. Now you'll see him move on the 1-2. Uh, Coach is already on the, the boss area of 1-2. Again, it's just six more enemies, then there's a sub-boss, and then the, uh, the real boss, Miss Georgia Haas from the Bad Attitude, the manager of the Bad Attitude. Who's perched up top of that uh, little little platform there? Any anything in uh, one two you want to talk about? In one two, really, that's that that jump there where that you have that little uh, that orange falling platform. That's the only time if you if you hit the wrong jump point on that ramp, you can miss it if you're high or low. But also sometimes you come up short because if you go too high on the ramp, it slows down your momentum. That's really the only difficult part there. Everybody knows to stay hugged close to the edge there to avoid all those guys throwing grenades at the very initial part. So it basically comes down to combat in 1-2. And you get your three supers back at the start of 1-2. You use two of them on the sub-boss and you use one of them on the, on the main boss and then you're clear and you're on the stage two in order scroller, Buzz. Uh, yeah, I mean, auto scrollers are, uh, they're nice. They're actually relaxing. Gives you a little bit of a break here, um, in the beginning. There's, there's not a lot to it, really. You gotta jump over a few things and, uh, avoid some obstacles, but, uh, uh, stage two, there's not a ton of difficulty to it, really. Avoid some obstacles. I mean, the main thing is you gotta make your jumps and avoid the obstacles before the jump so you have time to jump. Uh, yeah, the only the only difficult part is uh, what we see Coach Crab on right now. This part with the three ramps, uh, I have died there a couple times, and uh, that's the only really tricky part because it, it's that it's that really weird ramp physics. If you don't hit it at the right point, it slows you down, or you don't get that little. It gives you a little floating jump if you hit it right in the middle. If and if you miss that, fall into the pit, you will have to start all over again. Yeah, no. And Choke's nope. going through that right now. And looks like he's going to hit it. One, two, three. No problem for Choke. And now we're at the helicopter. No checkpoints in 2-1. So if, if you do die, you go all the way back to the start. Um, and damage is really the only main concern, like we said. Because you get up to this part with the helicopter. It has the cap... Its health is based on the amount of bombs it drops. And where you are on the screen determines how many bombs it drops both directions going towards you and away from you. Ultimately, you want it to drop eight bombs per cycle, but you also want it to drop some bombs on its first pass as well. And uh, it's still up to the debate on where the best places to stand and if you can move after it starts dropping bombs as well. Yeah, you definitely can move and change it around after it starts. Um, I just kind of, I, I haven't figured it out. I pick a spot. If it, it's a good pattern, I stay there. If not, I'll move a little bit, and then it'll give me a different pattern. And then usually you can just kind of determine it from there. But it seems like Choke got a much better uh, pattern than uh, 
than Coach Crab there. It looks like he gained a little bit of ground on 2-1. Uh, yeah, he's making up for his little bit of uh, menu snafu to start the game. Uh, menu gate, we'll call it. And, uh, and, <laughs> and he is gaining a little bit of ground. They're not too far apart on each other. And again, one death really upsets the balance of who's in the lead, who's not in the lead, because they'll leapfrog back and forth if they exchange deaths. Yeah, certain, certainly will once we get around to the easy level, uh, stage five. I call it the easy level, but that's just me. <laughs> Three one is your basic uh, maze like uh, platformer. Yeah, I, I tell guess. you, I tell you, three one. I just never get tired of this level. No, but three two, which uh, there's not much to say about three one. You you go around the linear path, you beat up six people, you go in the door. Three two, where coach is right now. This is the tricky part. This is the part that upset the balance of the people who were uh, practicing for this race. It was one of the first obstacles we we had to overcome to get better at. A lot of tricky jumps here. A lot of places where you can take some fall damage and then not have enough help that the boss, unless in case you get hit. Yeah, very much so. Like, you see Choke going through these little waterfall areas. There's, there's weird things where if you hit those moving, you fall in and you die. It's easy to game over here. This is definitely the first... Uh, this is the first point of the game where it, it develops its, its learning curve, uh, if you will. The first half of 3-2 uh, three, three is these guys that come out of the wall here. And you basically want to lead them over to the edge and knock them into the water or try to knee strike, throw them into the water. It's easier said than done because it's not easy to get the uh, combat type of combat you want. Coach is on the boss here, Guru Drew. First yeah. Yeah, great, great in the beginning there. He got his couple. Yeah, it looks like he's getting the quick kill. The tears on the uh, the initial enemy that pops out of left side, and then Guru Drew comes up the top. That's a nice, very, very nice quick kill from Coach Crab. And let's look at his time here. Uh, six, six fifty four coming out of stage three is uh, it's very above average. I would say a seven minute mark coming out of stage three, I think, is where you want to be uh, as far as average and. Uh, and coach is coming out ahead and then uh we just see choke there took an unfortunate dive into the water wonder if coach is, is going to cost little, him wonder if uh choke is feeling a little bit anxious after that menu mishap that he's uh trying to go a little bit too fast and didn't make a didn't make relatively a simple jump he got over the harder part yeah he did i just uh, that was that was interesting that's that's the one at the end of the level where i you know <laughs> You can forget it that it's there or something, but he was already past the hard part where you take the damage, and then he just didn't get up enough speed to take the last jump over the water there. Coach is on the second of two auto scrollers, level four here. Just uh, some tricky little movement on narrow platforms as Choke takes another bath. That's number two. Got to avoid yeah. avoid. Uh, there is a little caveat here on four one. You don't want to take too much damage because there's a boss at the end. Uh, that can can hit people if they're not really uh, patient enough to make jumps or don't move at the right time. We're going to see it coming right now. What's this boss called? Uh, I believe it's called the truck. <laughs> the yeah, truck. I don't, to, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> uh, I think that was uh, pretty good. All capital letters, one exclamation point. Yeah, something like that. If you are full health, you can just go to the bottom right corner of the screen and just like kind of file your nails, give yourself a manicure, manicure while, while the boss goes on. Um, if you have taken damage, you do need to jump a few barrels, and if you take a lot of damage, you have to jump a lot of barrels. Uh, not the easiest thing to do because there seems to be at least one or two barrels that are kind of hard to avoid unless you're maybe frame perfect. But Yeah, I would call them unavoidable because I've never figured out how, but you have to get really beat up by the birds and dogs in that level for it to, to make a difference. Choke is back at the end of 3-2 uh, here. And where he made his last mistake, he gets by it. And let's see how he takes on the boss here, uh, Mr. Guru Drew. Now, we've, we've been using the hot flash for every single round here. 5-1 is where you might consider not to use the hot flash in favor of the second part of 5-1, which are called the Cliffs of Insanity, where you have to make these jumps as, a, as the ground below you falls. And Hot Flash seems to be too fast to just do that in one motion. Whereas the T-Birds or the Rockers player is a little bit slower, so you can just hold right and make all the jumps. Coach here opts for the Hot Flash. Is that a safe race strategy? 
Uh, I would say no, personally, because I'm not good at it, but uh, you never know. I mean, I, I got beaten by Link and he did it, so it really just comes down to what, you, what you're comfortable with. Um, and personally, I, I, I take the rockers. I'm, I'm the only person who takes the rockers, I believe. Yeah, everyone else seems that changes seems to take uh, the T-Birds. Uh, we're going to find out if it pays off right here because Coach is at the... I don't even know what to call these. The, just a... The battle. purple broads? No, I mean, just the, the <laughs> battles where you fight six people. I don't even know what to call that, if there's a term for it. But uh, he down There's actually only five there. There's only five, yeah, that's right. There's there's only five on the last part of every board, I think. Up All right, six. so Coach is doing okay, going slow there. He kind of slowed himself down. Yeah. He got the hard jumps, and he made it through. Yeah, not bad. Coach he... having a very good run right now, way ahead in his time. Like his, uh, well, the best time that I've seen put up, he is ahead of it right now. So of those people who do switch, uh, Buzz switches to the Rockers and then continues on 5-2 using the California kid, Michael Flanagan. Uh, other people will opt to just take a death abuse to get back to a character, character selection screen. Um, and it's still debatable whether how much time you save using what character and then going back to a menu or just trucking on. One day yeah, we'll I, line up uh, run side by side. and time It's on. a good idea, but honestly, I don't think there's enough like distance that you take there for it really to make it worth your while to, to uh, game over and change a character there. You might as well just go. But I'm in the min minority on everything I do, so... At least in the in, in when it comes to the rockers and stuff like that. And looks like uh, Coach Crab uh, gonna take care of the the boss here. I I don't know his name. What's he called, Larry? Uh, it's Chuck the Skull. Chuck Skull, manager of the Violators. And we do see Choke heading into five one, choosing uh, the Ice Box, Robert Smith. Our first deterioration in. Uh, Oh, well, second, other than, second. Yeah, other than his uh, initial snafu, I should say. Maybe he thought he was starting on five one. We got to ask him. Yeah, that. yeah, that that might have been it. Yeah, he's like, it's like, well, that's the only level I got to worry about. So let's go for five one. And remember, he's got another race to go after this. That's true. He does. And then Coach doing very well. Almost a flawless run up to this point. We'll see how he does. Uh, Everything's I... flawless except for his internet. Uh, yes, I, I'm seeing a little bit of uh, frames being dropped here, but other than that, he's on he's on a uh, sub 16 pace right now. He is touting that sub 16 though. That is exactly what he's been practicing for. He does have the fastest time of all of us in practice that we know of. Is that correct? Um, I mean, it was for a while until I beat it this morning. Oh, humble brag. <laughs> See, uh, Choke there using his special, go. the uh, deep freeze. It's devastating. Just the slowest, like, splash, frog splash you could do. Well, you ever leotard. see him do it in the TV show? He actually does the splash, then he turns around the guy and, then, like, starts doing the shake as his shirt comes up and exposes his belly. Oh, nice. It's pretty good. It's pretty good 80s TV. And Choke makes wow. it through one time. Cliss of Insanity. Yeah, he even no the wall buffer there. And then uh, taking a dive. Yeah, taking the dive now to uh, select a different character. Going back to the the Hot Flash character, the Sly Fox, Vicky McEwen, number one in your scorecard and in your hearts. Actually, I like yeah, Tabby Hansen uh... better, but whatever. Very highly debated move there, um, which I disagree with. But whatever you're into, man, what do I know? I only have the uh, the worst time. He's only 0-1, folks. <laughs> Let's go back to that. Uh, let's go back. Oh, man. I feel like we're going to have to call like a referee here because I don't know all the tricky parts. I, I see some frame dropping uh, on Coach Crab, but no, nah, I trust him. Ah, uh, well, you're the only one in this commentary booth that does oh. trust him. Oh, no, he did. He got through, I guess. It's hard to tell. He's definitely just playing a bunch of screenshots of earlier runs that he assembled together in, in uh, PowerPoint. Oh, wow. He took a death in 6-3 there. Uh, the, death uh, in 6-3 is not as devastating as a death in 6-2. 
would no, be... No, definitely not. One of the shorter areas of the game. Three is a good place to die. He died again. Wow. Yeah, he quite possibly choked on that sub-16. I don't think he was going to get it anyway. Uh, still very possible, but not now. Now we're looking at sub-18, maybe. Yeah, I'd say best possible with him is going to be about... Yeah. He could still hit like a 1630 if he gets a good boss fight. Oh, no, he definitely can. I'm sorry. Now Choke arrives at the boss. Stage 5. Three supers and one drop kick in any order will down him. Anything else, uh, he'll go through a different... Some animations, as we'll see, because Choke didn't get it. Yeah, and you'll uh, run out of time. Like the first time I faced him, I was there with about <laughs> 200 seconds, kept punching him, and I uh, was just like, how do you beat this boss? I just ran out of time. Joshi D also ran out of time the first time he got to him, and then get thinking back to him until like 10 days later. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, here we go. The This is the showdown here with Coach Crab. So you might not be able to see it, but this boss jumps around, punches a lot. He's he's the jet diaper genie, kung fu master. And uh, what you want to do is you want to make you want to run under him when he jumps over you, and then hit him from behind. It seems to be the safest and pretty much the only thing we figured out that could work consistently. Yeah, there's not really a good window of opportunity. Honestly, when I went through to do the trial run to see if you get your uh, which player pops up at the end of it. As far as who you win with, it, it seems to be an advantage to play with one of the slower players just because uh, Hot Flash moves so quickly that when you hit that kick on her, if you have a guy who moves slower, you can set up another. So you can get about three or four kicks in a row, I believe, if you if you did bring one of those guys to the end of the level. It's quite possible he's done. Uh, looks like he is at a 1637. I saw him type the dot down there. And I am going to have to trust the time on his screen. So it uh, looks like our winner here. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, even though we lost a few frames, uh, 1637, Coach Kreb is the winner. That was more than of a this few. Race. Yeah, well, I can't I can't talk bad about it because I, I, yeah, I have a lot of trouble with that kind of stuff. Choke is on 6-2. He's determined to finish. And he's got to he's got to take this as practice going on to the uh, his next race in about 20 minutes against Dick Shake because everyone's going to be rooting for him, and he can't let everyone down. Uh, yeah, I can't believe that anybody would want Dick Shake to win, honestly. So it looks like he's on pace. If he does well right here, he'll finish at about uh, 19 or so. Second part of 6-2 is uh, both both ends of 6-2 are pretty tricky with the jump placement and then just avoiding the, the fire beams on the second part. There's one jump right there that it seemed to always get me. Uh, ouch. Yeah. It just, the it comes at you, it's easy to line up if you can see which, which one of those squares you want to jump at before yes. you get to the conveyor belt. Sometimes but... getting there when you, when you, when you do this fight, you're like, oh, okay. And then you forget about the jump. Yeah, exactly. Like once you start going again, you're like, "Wait, where? Where is it?" Um, it's actually three from the left of the screen. And like you see those three columns of the squares, that one third left of the screen. I would jump right at that one, and if you just keep jumping, you'll be okay. At least that's how I do it. I have not gotten this far yet, and so I'll tell you how I do it once that happens. <laughs> Do you have any of your races scheduled yet, Larry? Uh, no, because I would like to uh, defer them so I can get more practice, and so we have some content for the second week as well. Yeah, that's a good idea. I guess I guess that's correct. A lot of people are trying to get everything in. Maybe try to catch people off guard. Choke does something risky there, and he stopped his momentum by pushing to the right when moving left. When you do that, your skater does a little bit of a semicircle downward. Uh, yeah, it's called the pirouette, I believe. Yeah, well, I mean, you are on roller skates, so you are trying to, uh, you know, get rid of some momentum. So you just turn a little bit. No stoppers. Uh, we, we're on quad skates with no stoppers. Uh, they're not allowed on the track. Oh, I didn't realize that. That makes it even more difficult, well, they mark of course. Up, they mark up the surface, man. It makes no, it dangerous. That's, no, that's right. And uh, that's how Choka did a proper 6-3 uh, there. No deaths. I mean, we saw Coach Rab with a couple of deaths there, but uh, honestly, if you're going to die in this game, those are the best places 
place to die, for sure. Since I have a better win-loss record than you by percentage, uh, <laughs> you are now bound to uh, try to talk to Coach Crab and get him into the into the chat and talk about his run. Oh, I have to. I have to do that. Well, yeah, you have the worst percentage, so you drew the short, shortest straw to try to do it. Well, let's uh, let's try to call the end of here. Choke chokes here first <laughs> before I dive into. Uh... Chokes opting not for, to do the BGT strats, which is just face tank this guy, and then <laughs> yeah, wonder why you didn't beat him in like 50 minutes. Yeah, that took that took a minute or two. Oh no, you missed his first try at it. Well, Choke no, buffers there a little bit. Him. He fought him about 10 times or so. Oh, that was nothing compared right. to his practice run the day before. Oh, you're talking, yeah. yeah oh, it was 50 minutes. I'm like, dude, you, and like after like 40 minutes, I was nice enough to be like, hey man, you want a hint? Be like, you should probably try a jump kick. Yeah, it looks like Choke has stolen my uh, strategy from watching me. Wait until he jumps over you and then jump kick him. If you want to play, yeah. play it safe, just do one jump kick and then just wait. Jump kick him again. And, and there's uh, Choke. Call that, call that 215, uh, 20, 2015, 21, 15, sorry. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Certainly not the difference between uh, him selecting the wrong person to start. Yeah, I, I don't think so. Yeah, a little bit more than that, but a uh, bit of a race. I mean, for Coach Crab though, that was uh, that time uh, very good. I believe his uh, PB is 1631. So for a 1637 in a race is uh, it's about as good as you can hope for, I would say. And uh, Choke is joining us. Choke. Uh, well, first of all, sorry to see you. Uh, you did uh, finish second there, but what happened to start the race? Um, I like to blame it on the I Buffalo Company, but probably uh, a case of not putting the hitting the button before hitting start. You know, uh, I issue. do I do suffer sometimes from the same fate of trying to hit down to hot flash before hitting start, and uh, the, the controller goes nowhere. And I am too using an I Buffalo uh, when I am trying to navigate that menu. So maybe there is something uh, there, but uh, nonetheless, take us through that run. What what went wrong for you? Um, a little flustered at the start, you know, from the mistake I made to be, I mean, that's, you know, restarting this game, waiting through the, the menu screen, that's a, that's a 30 second time loss right there, but, you know, we got past that, and then, you know, the infamous 3-2, um, just the, both, both rounds through that, had this bad RNG, I, every time I'd push him to the side, I'd, I'd throw him, and every time i tried to throw him, I'd kick him, and, so I got frustrated and made some mistakes on that level. The rest of it went pretty little mistake in 6-2. But other than that, really, most of the run was, was okay, except for a couple of those big ones. But that's all it takes. Shoot, especially if he throws down 1637 is a great time. Yeah, I, I agree. That's 1637. That's that's hard to beat. That's like, uh, well, I mean, according to Speedruns Live right now, uh, 1639 is actually the uh, best 100% time. <laughs> so. No, congrats to Trick Coach, man. Uh, that's a that's a phenomenal time. Yeah, you're Coach, going, you're going sub well. 17. Now, how I'm do ready. you feel this 2130 would stand up against your next opponent, uh, Big Shake? <laughs> um. I think, generally speaking, I'm going to have to be faster than that. I've seen Dig, like any of us, you know what I mean, throw down way faster times, but... How many times did he reset before he arrived at that time, though? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I I think I think with Dig, though, you're going to have to run faster than 21 and a half in order to get it done. Uh, so you're saying 21 and a quarter? Yeah. I, <laughs> no. I, think, I think, man, it's hard to say. I just... I, I don't I think I'm gonna need to set, run sub 19 for sure to have a chance with dig. What do you have to say about that, Buzz? I mean, yeah, I was just gonna say it's it's hard to say um, just because of like what you you already commented on the no reset. Uh, I've I've never seen Dig Shake actually finish a run. He just resets every five seconds, so I really have no idea if he can actually finish a run. Honestly, uh, hat or no hat? Do you think? What was that? Is he going to wear a hat or not wear a hat? <laughs> I hope he does wear a hat. I mean, that might be the big decider in as far as, like, what he can do and what he can't do. 
Uh, Choke, have you prepared for this tournament by watching any roller games? Yeah, that's all I've done. But I I haven't watched. No, 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 not not the the TV show, not the this piece of garbage. Oh, you mean the game? Yeah, the game. Oh yeah, I, you know I've been watching uh, all these other fina- you know fantastic racers who are sitting there rubbing running sub seventeens consistently. I mean, as you can see, my my best is barely below uh, eighteen minutes. So I knew I was gonna have to put on a good run and, and hope for a couple errors on their part, you know. So. Well, I uh, I believe we do have the uh, winner of this match, uh, Mr. Coach Crab. Uh, are you here, Coach? Can you hear me? Coach, oh there, there he is. That's that's uh, Mr. Coach Crab. Congratulations on your win. Very well done. That's a that's a hell of a time you put up there. Uh, thank you. Uh, it was an easy match. I just had to uh, you know play the game because my opponents are all trash. <laughs> Buzz. Oh wow! Buzz, can you hear <laughs> oh, wow. me? Uh, he has us on mute. He said he would be uh, be back in a few seconds, but. Uh, he's not here. He is. He's there, but he has us on mute. Oh, and he's okay. probably listening us through a stream or something. <laughs> so this is uh, this is the Coach Crab we know and love, ladies and gentlemen. This is the uh, Discord maniac, as we like to call him. I think he's having internet issues, guys. I can hear him. So. He ha- he has Discord issues. <laughs> yeah. But uh, he's actually on. Mute. You can see it in the server. On the Discord server, he has uh, yeah. mute on. He said he's having internet issues. It's probably Discord locking him out because of his poor connection right now. Look at look at choke turned into a coach sympathizer. I don't know if I like this. <laughs> don't you have a race to get ready for? Choke. I do. I do. Best of luck on that race, by the way. We're all rooting for you. You know what? The one safe state I didn't practice was the starting menu. You know. And yeah, I think that cost you the the race. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you All in a little right. bit. Take you. Thank you. All right. Good luck, Choke. We'll try once again for this guy to uh, to show up. Uh, okay. Yeah, Coach. Larry. Hello. Hey, Larry. Um, I don't see him. The bottom is cut off. No, I look fine. I see him, but I don't hear him because he has mute on. So we can't hear him because he muted his mic. So he's got well, to I... unmute his mic and then we can hear him. Oh. I don't know if he got disconnected or something. Oh, well. We can preview this next race here, by the way. Uh, Dick Shake looks like he has a 10, seven, uh, 17, 10 personal best. 17, 10, that's not bad. Coach? This is professionalism at its finest right now. There is, uh, there's buttons on the bottom, Coach. I don't want to tell too much because it's uh, too loud. But, uh, yeah, and Dick Shake's opting for no hat, by the way. We uh, will mention. Oh that. wow, he's going hatless. Yeah, and I'm trying to relay over to him. We can't use IRC because there's a little bit of an issue with uh, Choke's account there for some reason. Uh, fix, not fixed. It all depends. But uh, we're actually moving over to the the IRC the Discord channel for the uh, SHI tournament. By the way, you can all follow the runners and get your tournament information all in one, all in two different spots, two different commands. Right there in the chat channel. Coach, I can hear you. Can you hear me? You can hear Coach. I can hear him. I can't hear him. I can hear him. Coach. He can't hear us. Honestly, I thought we were having fun with him for like the first five minutes of that, but then I realized it was something more. No, I see his microphone is muted in the Discord server. You see that little symbol to the right of his no name? for me i could hear him and i i just couldn't stop laughing so i had to keep miking my muting my own mic yeah i can hear you choke said he can hear him too maybe it's me let me restart discord on my end this way i can uh 
pull it back up and maybe it'll be working. Because sometimes that does happen with Discord, by the way. Let's wait for it to load back up. Pop into the channel. Hello. Uh, yeah, I can hear Coach, but he cannot hear us. I can't hear him either, and his mic is muted on my screen. It says... It All right, uh, let's go one at a time. Who can hear who and who can't hear what? Well, we have, we have other things to do here, like talk about this next match <laughs> coming up anyway. Uh, All right. So we'll have to forego the interview with Coach, but congratulations for winning. Yes, uh, well done, Vic Coach. That was that was very funny uh, for me, so that was great. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that, even though it was completely unintentional. I just want to make sure it's not on my end. I didn't mute him. Well, no, I can hear him when he says something, but he just can't hear us. Try it one more time. Hello, Coach. No, it's not going to happen. He would have responded to me. Coach, are you there? Coach, Coach Crab, 127. Can you hear me? I just hear his keyboard. I hear him typing, yeah, which yeah. means he's not talking. So. Yeah. All right, well, he's got to get out of our channel then so we can continue. Boot him. Yep, well, I just I put him back on mute. So. <laughs> 